Hey guys, this is Nick Saibu here, and today we're gonna take a look at the Red Gear Invader mechanical keyboard. This keyboard is completely backlit with RGB lighting effects and uses scale blue switches. So let's get started. This is the box of our keyboard. Unboxing it, you get the keyboard itself, a user manual, and a keycap puller. Taking a look around the keyboard, you will find the body is made of nice made plastic finish and over here is the red gear logo. For an initial impression, I would say that it looks very compact with enough spacing between keys. The body looks very durable and premium. I tried giving it a twist and bending it but it is way more tough than I thought. The build quality here is just amazing. This keyboard also comes with a braided cable which is extra thick and very strong. The end USB connector is gold plated. Now let's plug this to a PC. So here you go, this is how it starts. As you can see, all the keys are individually backlit. Each row have different colors. It is to be noted that you cannot change colors. The only thing you can do is either turn it on or off and change the brightness levels. You can easily program the LED lighting modes by pressing the function button and the LED mode key simultaneously. These are the different LED modes. And finally, the best thing about this keyboard, the custom modes. You can program this keyboard to light up the keys that you want to use. For example, if you play a lot of FPS games, you probably use the WASD keys and the direction keys. Using this custom mode, you can easily program it to light up only required keys. In this case, the WASD and the direction keys. To press the custom mode, press function button and the PD button simultaneously to start recording. Then select the profile 1, 2 or 3. Right now I am going to select profile 1. So I will press function key plus 1. Now just click on the keys that you want to light up. And you are done. Now select the mode by pressing function plus 1. As I said, this mechanical keyboard comes with kale blue switches which is gonna make you feel that you are typing on a typewriter and of course this clicky sound talking about the night visibility i will give it a 10 on 10 the keys are perfectly visible without causing any strain to eyes i also own another gaming keyboard this is from a brand called Game Diaz. The problem with this keyboard is that the keys are not individually backlit like the Red K1. So at night the key letters aren't visible. But the Red K1 here is perfect for night usage. Another thing to be noted that this keyboard doesn't come with a wrist pad which are present in all the other keyboards I use. Also the keys are a little higher from the ground. So if you got a really small hand and planning for long usage then these aren't going to be comfortable to use. Anyway, you can buy a wrist pad from online or use a laptop cover as a wrist pad, just like me. Personally for me, I just use this one for gaming and for that, it's very easy to use with easily accessible keys. The keys provide good feedback and feel smooth to press. If you have never used a mechanical keyboard before, you will find that Red Gear in Beetle is a pleasure to type on. It will improve your accuracy and speed versus a traditional membrane keyboard. Now coming to the price. This keyboard retailed for about 3000 rupees on Amazon, which makes it one of the most affordable mechanical keyboards. Well, you may be thinking, why mechanical keyboards? 
why is everyone so crazy about this heavy typewriter like functioning device for me i will say that mechanical keyboards last way longer and the feedback the buttons provide is unique anyway if you are going to buy one then use the links i have placed below it will direct you to the official sellers of this keyboard so that's it from my review i hope you liked it if you did then please click the like button below if you want more videos like this then feel free to subscribe to nick cyber so thank you for watching the video have a nice day